Max, what are we doing? Hey, we're saving people in a train and uh, trying not to get shot at, which is apparently a really hard thing to do. Yeah, apparently for me. Okay, real talk. Real hey, talk. I haven't died yet. Okay, real talk. All oh, of God. these guys have shotguns. Yes. All of them. Um. What? Shotgun, shotgun. Ye yeah, yeah. That is the dumbest thing. God dang it, he's facing this way. That is, wait, that's the dumbest thing. You you only have short range wep short range, like mid range weapons. The grapple no hook. No one is, has. Yeah, it's mid range. No one has an assault rifle to kind of go long range. Nobody. It's just shotgun. So like, if you're like 60 to 80 feet away, like they'll have a hard time hitting you. They'll slow you down. Uh, have you ever, have you ever shot a firearm before? I, the only thing I fired was a BB gun when I was in Boy Scouts in elementary school. I didn't fire a single thing more powerful than that in my entire life. I... I'd like to learn, but I just don't have time nor the finances to do it yet. That's a fair point. Um, I might take you out sometime. I'd love to, but like... I'm not going to touch a firearm unless I know what I'm doing. Because even though there's always the whole stigma of like, oh, you just grab and pull the trigger and whatnot. G a gun is more complicated than that. It, When you get down to the bare bones of it, it was designed to kill. It is a weapon. So you have to respect it like one. So I don't want to touch it unless I know what to do if X, Y, or Z happens. Much like my collection of katanas. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> Didn't know there was Roger Rabbit in here. <laughs> All right, so, um... C. So, yeah, I barely passed. You, uh, so... That's... Zubar. 22, uh, 22 yeah. milliliter rifles, good one. Uh, 22 milliliter rifles aren't, uh, like, have very little, if any, kickback. Um, that would be something that you would, uh, that almost A, be, a beginner's would, little pew pew? Yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's actually the kind of gun that they were using, um, in the short story, the, uh, like, The Greatest Hunt or something like that, um, where the guy was, like, hunting humans. Because 22, mil 22 millimeter is enough to, like, if you get one of those in your leg, you're not running anymore. Mm. Um, and it's light, and it's cheap, and it's easy. Um, but the higher gauge uh, shells, however, um, if you have the right equipment, you can actually take the shells, buy a box of the actual, uh, like, uh, the propellant, of course. The, yep. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's air get, compressed? You get the bullet and then compress it yourself if you have ah. the right uh like lever or whatever tool but oh uh but essentially it's reusable but uh 22 millimeter rounds are so tiny that the back of the shell is actually the thing that sets it off so mm. you can't like recap the bottom of it you know my mom when she was young and lived at home she her father my grandfather uh, sold guns and gun parts for a living. Really? Yeah. She lived on a farm, and she... The only way they would let her walk around the farm outside is if she had her 22 Beretta with her. And that girl knew how to use it. Because if a, cow, if a cow went rampant, she had to put that thing down. Mm -hmm. And she, she still has it somewhere. Wait, oh. what, uh, uh, wait, uh, I was uh, trying uh, to fly forward, and I guess he just can't. Zippity do da, zippity a. I'm the Batman. There's a door right there, and, and, I you can play and you'll do what I say. All right. I, it was a little slow, but I, I landed it. You're welcome. We're all appreciative. Um, my great uncle um, has several firearms, not as much as my as Okay, my I can punch the glass wall, but not the plywood. Glass breaks. Like wood, my parents. <laughs> wood, wood doesn't break. Wood, wood splinters. It's totally different. I was wondering what would break first. Oh, God. <laughs> Are we safe? Can't you get us out of here? No, you're fine. We don't have any oxygen. You're cool. Oh, what's this freaking thing? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Ah, there's a cover. Ooh, look, a breadboard. That's that's not even close to how our redboard would work. 
I, I don't know. Just like, just a full socket in the middle of the breadboard. That makes no sense. You're talking about making no sense in a world where a guy dresses as a bat and flies around and no one for the life of them can figure it out. That's that's fair. That's fair. They, I mean, they Batman, can't figure out who it is. Yeah. They can't figure out who it is. Well, to be fair, Bane, like, we just discovered that Bane figured it out. Yeah. It It's weird. I mean, I love Batman. I love the idea of... Like, I like his stubble in that shot. Did you see that? That was nice. Yeah, he's going. He's going a little uh, five o'clock shadow. So you were you were talking? You were talking? I was saying like I like the idea, and, like the uh, Batman such against the villains and how each part of them, each of them is like a part of him essentially. But realistically, there's no way. Have you ever read The Killing Joke? I never read it. I've read bits and pieces of it, but never the full thing. All right, and you haven't, um, and you haven't watched the movie, right? I have. You have I hated watched the, movie. the first act, like at the first half of the movie, it it fell flat a bit. It really picks up after the second half. Uh, I think the comic is probably my best for is my favorite version of it. Mm. Um, I didn't know until like last week. Uh, what goes on in, uh, in the love boat section? Where they- Oh! Yes. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Oh, wait, I came through here. Commissioner Gordon had the worst day. Yes, that was the whole point. That's a very, very- It big... was to make a <laughs> what's that? huge point. What's the- what's the, the no good, dirty, rotten, very bad day? Is that the- is that the name of the children's book? I- I don't know. Okay, Is so. there a children's book called Dirty Rotten Stupid Flupid Bad Day Whatever? Yeah, but it doesn't involve the, all of that. It doesn't involve taking pictures of a paralyzed young woman without clothes on and then transporting her dad across naked through this absolute yeah. nightmare. Why did, why did Gordon have to be naked? That was so weird. Humiliation. What I liked just trying to humiliate him. What is my I, best guess. What I liked about it was uh -oh. that throughout uh -oh. all of this. Oh, dear Gussie. I That's forgot about this. Shaky cam, shaky cam, it's so cool. Uh, look at all of our favorite 2D fire. Uh, <laughs> this must have been so much fun to, like, map out. Probably, also, probably was also kind of hard, I assume. I mean, like... it. I would assume that it would be easier. I mean, other think than, so. Yeah, 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 because so much of this is just negative space. True. But that's just me talking, and I don't even know what... I can't even tell you what engine they used. I don't know how a Z-axis works. I never had to go that far. I did trigonometry, and that was pretty much it. Oh, you sweet little thing. Hey, I did I did cotangent one time, and I threw up. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Wow, it's a good thing you didn't take calculus one, two, three, or quadratic functions. Yep. Nope. F that. Uh, I did I did business calculus. And that was the only class that I passed in my first semester of college. And it was because he was teaching out of the wrong book. So we all failed everything and he didn't get it. Oh, he no. didn't understand. So he would, he would, oh. because everyone's grades sucked. He, Absolutely. oh, no. Excuse me. Alfred. Alfred, they have guns. Oh, Alfred, they have really cool sniper rifles. You know, maybe next time, maybe next time I could have a rifle. But Alfred, I want a rifle. I uh, want to use it to truck a truck. Ma Master Wayne, that would be really dumb. I am using it in the new movie. What new movie, Master Wayne? Oh, you know the the. the okay, so the don't don't hate me, but I watched Justice League. How was it? Uh, the the best. I like how they retconned everything the in best, Batman versus Superman. <laughs> the best adjective I have heard it described as that I agree with completely is fluffier. I mean, Gal Gadot couldn't save it. No. Which makes me sad. Um. All right. Here's it. It. It wasn't as serious as BVS. Uh. Oh, right. That guy's Here's, going for a gun. Um, have you ever watched... Um, do you know the... the uh, do you know Movie Bob? The YouTuber named Movie Bob? Yes. N I, don't really know much of his stuff, but I know of him. Um, he did like a six hour... He just done like six hours worth of a three-part series of um, why Batman vs. Superman 
was bad, and that's not hard. What does it mean as uh, from an industry standpoint? Like he is an actual movie critic, and mm. so he was like, no, 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 no. This is why. This is where they came from. Like this is what they tried to do, and they failed miserably. Um, and I, I mean, I can tell you that in a single sentence. They tried to be like Marvel, but they didn't want to invest the time. And. Uh, like to go into that further, the problem with that was they wanted to do a deconstruction, so they did the Death of Superman and um, that and the Dark Knight Returns, which are deconstructions. Yes, that it. Like, uh, but they're deconstructions built up after years of like building up the character in the first place. Yeah, here's my uh, here is my thing. My thing was that it started with the new Superman. The new Superman. The only way you could describe him was that he's not your father's Superman. That's it. Y that, yeah, he, yeah. He, he had nothing. He didn't have a moral standing point. He didn't have anything against killing people, which is why the question is, if we, if you spent a whole movie talking about why he's so different, how he's so different, like, oh, he's not your father's Superman, why does he cry when he kills Zod? Unless he is actually my dad's Superman. Good point. And then... If he is my father, Superman, why do you spend the entirety of Batman vs. Superman saying, "Oh, these aren't these are new people. This is a de uh, this is so this is a gritty reboot of the of the new thing." Except it's not a gritty reboot because they don't kill anyone. In the third act, where Superman does a Superman thing and Batman finally does a Batman thing and does one of the coolest fights of all Arkham history, um, in the warehouse. Uh, yeah, in the warehouse. That's, that was a good fight. That was that, a good scene. That's the most Batman in that whole movie. Yes. And it's supposed to be like, oh, it's being back to the Batman. Wait, there was no Batman to go back to. There was no other Batman. We, there's no. The, the, don't tell us it's not my father's Batman. If it is my father's Batman, that's what I'm trying to say. If you're gonna go all out, that's what I. Um, that's what I like so that's what I don't like so much about the new Teen Titans. It, it's not enough of its own Teen Titans to render it necessary. Mm. It's fourth wall breaking, sure. They literally had Wait, an Wait, you mean Teen Titans Go? Yeah, Teen Titans God Go. Dang, that's stupid thing. It's not different enough. And it's too it's too different from the source material, from the same writers, from the same producers, from the same actors. Yeah, that's right. They have the same voice actors for the most part. And they were just like, oh, we'll just change the tone. We'll keep the setting. We'll keep the characters. We'll keep the...